Hi everybody, welcome back to another fossil hunting video on the Yorkshire coast. You can probably tell which beach I'm on today. So I've come to Raven Scar. It should be a beautiful day. It is a summer holiday, so I'm not sure what will be down there, but you've got to look to find stuff. I'm currently waiting for my friend Connor, who has never been to this beach before. So hopefully we can find a few different ammonites for him. Raven Scar is one of the longest and steepest beaches I collect fossils at. It's not too bad on the way down, but getting back up with a rucksack full of rocks is very hard. Although the scenery, particularly this stretch looking over Robin Hood's Bay, is in my opinion one of the best on the Yorkshire coast. So we're almost down to the beach now. That's a little just a stretch to go. This section of the beach is usually covered in seals in winter time, but luckily I'm walking this way because there's not many of them. I think it's the wrong time of year. So usually we walk over the top, down the jungle path. So we've got our first fossil find of the day and it's a tiny little dactylioceros just sat here waiting to be picked up nice one. Oh wow look at that I think I found a dinosaur footprint oh that is cool look at that hopefully you can make out the beautiful footprint right there that's amazing might try and collect that see this is a really nice dinosaur footprint See if you can spot it on that slab. Oh, yeah. You see it sticking out? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> That's nice, isn't it? So Connor's having a go at extracting the dinosaur footprint. Hopefully we can get it out in one piece. On the beach as I collect fossils yeah. at, anything in a loose slab is allowed to be collected However, anything in the cliffs or in the bedrock, you must leave. Oh, good. Yeah, it's gone good, a delicate fossil like this would quickly lose a lot of its detail after it being bashed by the sea. Sweet. Beautiful. Great job. So I'm well chuffed with that dinosaur footprint. I've never found any dinosaur bones at this particular area. All of my footprint finds have been from Salt Lake Bay and the Whitby East Cliff area. But that was quite a nice obvious one. So I'm happy to take that one back. If you'd like to purchase your very own fossil from the Yorkshire coast, please check out my website called buyafossil.com. There's a bunch of beautiful prepared fossils available for purchase or with shipping to most countries. Please take a look if you are interested. Thank you. I've just found a nice bellamite. Somewhere. I think I've just buried it. Ah, oh, there we go. Unfortunately, it's in the bedrock, so I'm not going to be collecting this one. But it's nice and crisp. Look at the beautiful keel on this Peronoceros ammonite. Beautiful nodes or spines sticking out of it. Unfortunately, it is a partial. Someone's found it before me. What a beautiful example it would have been. So there's an awful lot of these fragmented ammonites around, but this is not what I'm looking for today. Here's a double Peronoceros piece Connor's just found. Hopefully it's all there inside the nodule. He's got quite a few nice ammonites. Oh, that'll be a good one. Yeah. There's nothing showing in that one. One's tapped. And then that's also odd. I 
I don't, I don't really want to hit that one. Let's find out what's inside the nodule, if anything. Use my armor. Uh, no, I'm always going to go in a minute. Maybe I will use your armor. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get, get a bigger hammer out. Yeah, that would help. There you go. I think it's a dud, unfortunately. So we've got two nice looking Dactyliosaurus ammonites here, Connor's found. Here's a partial but very rare ammonite I found. Unfortunately, it's only the middle but it is a Horgia, which is a very rare ammonite. I'm hoping more of the middle will be underneath the matrix, but I'm gonna take it back home and see. So Connor's got a few nice fresh nodules, he's cracking a few open and I'm gonna give these few a tap. There's no keel showing on them, but worth a explore, I think. That one was a dud. Nice split. And another dud. Hopefully. Did any of them have that in? No. So unfortunately all these fresh ones, but it's just found were empty. So now we're making his way round to where the rarer ammonites are, the Gramosaurus and the Horgias. Hopefully we have a little bit more luck than we have done from this area. It's a little bit slim pickings at this section with the Dax and the Perros. So you really have to work hard for your fossils walking around here. It's full of all of this green slime on the rocks and it's very, very slippery. Gramosaurus layer. All these cliffs are full of Gramosaurus ammonites. Whether there'll be any washed up to be found, hopefully. Connor's not got one, so it'd be nice to find a good one for his collection today. The sun keeps going in and out. So Connor's found what looks like one of them rare sandstone ammonites. So there's a keel sticking out there. A very small ammonite, I'm not sure what species it is, but a very rare one. Cool. Glad you told me that. So, so there's a Gramosaurus sticking out of this rock here. I'm gonna give it a tap and see how it opens up. Oh nice. Look at the sun. So we've got a little something hiding within this nicely beach rolled pebble. You can see the edge of the ammonite sticking out there. I might even take this one back because I think it'll prepare out very nice. Hopefully it's all there and not just a bit of dead weight to carry back up the cliff. So Connor's found his first ever Pseudoleoceros. It's a nice one, it just needs a little bit of prep work around the edges. 
he was going to throw it because he thought it was a grammar and he's wanting a better one but it is a really good example for a Suda well done so it's time to head off back home now we're starting from the furthest bit and we're going to walk all the way back up to the cliff where we climb up the steps right at the beginning That's everything for today's video. Hopefully you have all enjoyed it. Unfortunately, the wind noise got really loud at this moment. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more fossil hunting videos in the future. I'll see you all on the next video.